Alright, what's up guys? It's me Sean here and today we're going to be talking about how to create tic-tac-toe game on Visual Studio using Microsoft WinForm and C Sharp. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing we have to do here is we have to create a new project. So let's go ahead and go to File, New, Project. And once you do, you'll be brought into this new project screen. And by the way, I'm using Visual Studio 2015 for this tutorial. Um, so go ahead and click Templates, Visual C Sharp, and Windows. And if you do that, you'll be able to see these four um, projects you can build. But we're going to choose Windows Forms application and go ahead and change the name to something that's relevant. So WinForm, probably like Tic-Tac-Toe. It can be anything. <laughs> and go ahead and browse if you want to change the saving directory you don't really have to worry about these two check boxes right now uh, just go ahead and leave it as default um, we'll talk about it in the future i guess but just hit ok and if you do you'll be brought into this screen here so in the middle there's a design view on the left there's a toolbox if you don't have toolbox you can just probably like click toolbox here and then pin to the um, the left side and on the right side I have solutions explore or solution explore and the property so yeah so let's go ahead and test this out so whenever you want to run this program all you got to do is just hit this um, green arrow that says start so if you do that you will see this window pop up here so this is exactly mirroring what we did on the form one uh, design view but as you can see it will look a little bit different than what we have on the design view because windows 10 actually applies their own uh, interface schema so it will look a lot different from what we see on the left side but don't worry we can always like hit start and like change the use uh, UI if we want to and stuff like that so we can always fix it as we go don't worry about it a lot um, I'm just saying it's gonna look a little bit different okay so go ahead and close this out and let's get started so the first thing I want to do here is I want to disable some features that user can do to my program because before I even begin, I always try to check those things. For example, I don't want users to be able to click maximize button when they play my tic-tac-toe game. And also, I don't want users to be able to change this window when to whatever the size they want to be in. So I'm going to probably disable it. So go ahead and click the form. And if you go into properties here, you will see a bunch of these properties you can change so under appearance we're going to go down and change the text first so text is what you see on this top window bar here so I'm going to change this into something like tic-tac-toe uh, by Sean Kuhn or something like that perfect <laughs> and also we're going to change this form border style and if you change that, notice right now it says sizable, right? So what user can do is users can basically like be able to drag the window to whatever the size they want them to be in. But I don't want that to happen. So let's go ahead and hit the drop box and choose one of these uh, fixed options. I usually go with fixed 3D because it kind of shows me like this boundaries here I don't know I kind of like that <laughs> okay so after that uh, I'm going to go all the way down scroll all the way down to uh, where is this Windows style section so if you go down to Windows style section notice there will be a lot of stuff you can actually change the icon of your app as well but we're not going to be doing that in this tutorial maybe in the future and as I said earlier, I didn't want anybody to be able to maximize my program. So I'm going to disable the maximize 
button okay so now that we changed everything uh, let's resize this a little bit into something that I want my game to be in something like this might look good go ahead and hit start and you'll see that our program appears here and notice now users cannot change this thing or change the size of my window and also they cannot click this maximize button only the minimize so that looks good and I like the title here so let's get started to putting actual stuff so the first thing we have to do after changing the basic stuff is we have to put all the stuff that we want to display to user so for example I'm going to create a button uh, I want to make it into square so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on button once um, and then go down to size let's change this to something like 70 comma 70 let's make it square right and we're going to change the text text is located under the appearance and text into something like um, how about a1 we're going to name it a1 and I'll explain why we're naming it a1 on the text also we're going to change the name in the design uh, section so name is basically a variable name I don't know if you guys are familiar with the term variable but we're going to be using these variables in the um, actual coding part so you might want to name this so that it's easier for us to understand I'm going to say um, a1 okay and I'm going to place it somewhere up here and I'm going to right click copy and paste it onto my view so I'm basically going to create nine of these I don't know if you guys are familiar with uh, tic-tac-toe game but I hope you guys do because <laughs> we're creating that game um, yeah anyway oh by the way you can like drag and select all of these and then move them at the same time if you guys want to okay so just move it around into somewhere that you think it looks good oh actually let me put it on the right side because I want to put something on the left here so anyway so we're done now it's time to change the text and the name so you remember how to change the name and the text go down to appearance and we're going to change the second one into a2 and we're going to change the name into a2 as well and we're going to do that for this one and as you guys have guessed it's going to be a3 and text would be a3 as well and for the name variable here I recommend you guys to name it starting with uh, lowercase and the second row will contain B letter B so instead of a1 I'm going to name it b1 for the first one and change the name as well and you're gonna do that for these two and the last row will start with letter C okay and name it as C1 as well so you're going to be doing that for the rest of these two too all right so I paused the video and changed these around so you guys don't have to watch me do it um, but anyway so I named it into exactly what you see on the text view okay so now it's time for me to put a bunch of other stuff like for example score labels player labels and probably like restart button okay so how about we do that so I'm going to create another button up here that's going to say restart so let's change the name to restart button and then we're going to change the text into restart and text can be anything so you don't have to worry about like starting with lowercase or anything like that just the name try to come up with a lowercase name or lowercase for the starting letter um, so after you do that let's go ahead and start this and dang it already looks good so we have a restart button here a1 b1 c1 
And if you look on the right, you will see that there's an events uh, tab. So you can actually see user's activity. So it says, I click restart A1B1C1. It's a really awesome tool. Um, but yeah, so there's our window. It looks good. Everything seems like it's on the right position. So let's exit out. And we're going to put a huge label, actually. So if you type in label in your toolbox section here, you will see this label thing. So go ahead and click that and put it onto your form. And if you put it right here, let's change the text into something like tic-tac-toe. Okay, I'm probably going to put some space just like that. And I'm going to show you how to change the font size for this. So if you go under appearance, there you will see font, right? And if you hit font, you'll see a bunch of these little things you can change, but you can actually click this a little dot, dot, dot square thing. And you will see this font screen here that we're really familiar with. Um, go ahead and keep regular value if you want to, but I just want to make this a little bit larger to like, I don't know, 20. Let's try it. Oh, that looks perfect. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to change the uh, to the bold looks a lot bigger right and actually let's change the font as well sorry about that I usually use Comic Sans uh, it's kind of like a default uh, I don't know default font that I really like from Microsoft and if you do we get these uh, we get this really cool font and you can also change the uh, color of the text and if you want to change the color you just have to go to uh, for color under the appearance section and right now we have a, con a control text so we can change this into something different like let's go into web here and what should we change it to um, I'm really suck with these color schemes and stuff I'm just gonna go with chocolate, I guess. I don't know. Oh dang, it already looks bad, but you know, um, we just gotta do what we gotta do. <laughs> so we have this basic <laughs> title of the game, so that's good. Um, so after that, we're going to create some labels for our players. So let's uh, put label here and change the text into something like player O and let's put another one down here I'm pretty sure you guys would have guessed it it's going to be player X haha <laughs> and we can name this obviously we're not going to change this value so you can name it anything but you know uh, let me just put player player O uh, name or something like that it doesn't really matter uh, player oh player X name okay and after that we're going to put two more labels for our scores so we have to keep track of who's winning and who's losing right so we're going to put score boxes on the bottom here which is going to be label and I want the scores to be a little bit larger, so I'm going to change the font into like, what, 14. Let's do that. That's perfect. And put it right here and right here as well. And I'm going to change this one to 14, just like that. So this one, we're going to be changing the value most a lot every time someone wins. So we're going to make sure we name this name appropriately so we're going to do player x scores and this first one here I'm going to name it as player o scores so we're going to be changing these values later and if you start now the property value is not valid oh sorry I guess I hit space um, just hit start and you will see this general label that looks pretty good 
So what we can do is we can actually raise the font size for all of these buttons here so that it looks better, okay? I'm going to be pausing that part uh, so you guys can like kind of customize your own. All right, so I changed all the font size into something that might look better for um, <laughs> for anybody. Uh, it's a lot larger for sure. Um, so yeah, that looks pretty good. So now what we can do is we can actually change the color of these buttons into something that is different than these, this color here. So just click on one of the button that you want to change the color of and we're going to choose this back color. So inside of this back color here, we're going to go into web and then choose whatever the color that you want to choose. Um, what should I choose? Here comes that weird color color scheme again uh, medium sea green I don't know what color that is oh that looks pretty good I actually like them uh, uh, yeah yeah looks pretty good <laughs> um, yeah so I'm going to color all these now into different color what should I choose powder blue oh that looks pretty good you know what it looks kind of weird all together but uh, instead of like coloring each of them individually because we're applying same exact color to all of them you can just hit one or click one and then while you're pressing control key on your keyboard click all the other ones as well and if you do you'll be able to select all four of these or how many ever you chose right and if you go to properties and change the color it will change everything that you selected okay so for example all of these fours color into this so you can save some time that way I guess all right so I think that looks good to me uh, in our next tutorial I'm going to be going over how to add some functionality to these buttons so we can actually get started with it okay so I'll see you guys in the next tutorial thanks